Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jumping straight into the tutorial, I started out by priming my lids off camera with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. First, I'm building up a transition color above my crease with the shade Peaches and Cream and Georgia from the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Next, I'm just highlighting my brow bone with the shade White Peach from that same palette. And now that we have a nice outline for everything, I'm taking the shade Venetian Red from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm placing this on the inner and outer corners of my lid. I'm gonna go in with a darker shade later, but I wanted to place this one first just to keep the look really light, make sure the red didn't get too dark, and also this is just going to help the overall blend of the whole look. When I'm doing a look like this, I really like to place the product with a more dense brush and then blend it all out with a nice fluffy one. This just really helps me not place too much product and for anybody who's wondering, I will be leaving all of the brushes I use down below in the description box. And if you ever feel like you're getting a little too carried away or bringing the eyeshadow up too high, just take one of the first transition colors you used and blend that right over the top and it should help out a lot. And now I'm going to deepen up the whole look with the shade Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. And again, I'm going to pack that color on the inner and outer corner of my lid and then take a nice fluffy blending brush and blend it all out. And just repeat these steps of packing and blending until I get my desired look. Now I felt like my crease needed a little bit more definition, so I went in with Puree from the Sweet Peach palette, and it really just helped transition the red smoky eye up to the brow bone. Now for the center of the lid, I used the shade Bellini, which is absolutely stunning. I just felt like it wasn't bright enough for this look. So I tried wetting it with a little bit of facial spray and it definitely brightened it up. But in the end, I just wanted a little bit more like gold sheen to it, I guess. So I went in with the shade Primavera from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I feel like this really just made it pop. Now for some reason I decided to hop to the face here. I have no idea why I went in this order today, but I first just laid down the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight in the shade Moonstone. And instead of blending it out today, I tried putting my foundation right over top and kind of mixing my foundation in with it. I've never actually done this before, but I loved the way it came out and I'm totally gonna try doing it more. It was so dewy and beautiful and I really liked it. Oh, and by the way, the foundation I'm using is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation, and I'm actually blending out my foundation today with a stippling brush by Real Techniques, which I never do, but yeah. For concealer, I'm actually using the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay, which is pretty new to me, but the more I use it, the more I like it. I especially love the shade. It's super brightening for me, and it's hard to find a concealer that's brightening when you're as pale as I am. <laughs> I'm also gonna go through and highlight the center of my face and then set my entire face with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And surprise, surprise, I'm using my NYC Sunny Bronzer today to warm up my face. This is just holy grail, you guys. Like, I hardly ever reach for any other bronzer. I just, I just love this one so much. I'm gonna highlight today with this mini Becca Moonstone, which is absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. I don't know how I went this long without it in my life, but it's, it's gorgeous. 
And then I'm sorry I'm all over the place in this tutorial, but I randomly do mascara here. I use my Rodeal Glamo Lash XXL mascara, my all-time favorite mascara, by the way. And then I hop to my lower lash line. I basically just placed all of the shades I did on my upper lid down below. Still creating that halo effect, keeping the darker eyeshadows on the inner and outer edge, and then placing that bright shimmery one in the center. Next, I'm just putting a nude liner in my waterline, coating my lower lashes with mascara, and applying some Ardell Demi Wispies off camera. Then it was absolutely killing me that I didn't have brows on, so I'm gonna go do that off camera real quick as well. If you haven't seen my brow routine and you would like to, it'll be linked down below. But moving on to lips, I first just applied this Milani Anti-Feathering Lip Liner just because I was gonna be using a dark gloss today. Then as a base for the lip gloss, I went in with Milani's lipstick in the shade Uptown Mauve. And then the star of the show, the lip gloss itself, is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's in the shade Black Cherry. And that's gonna be it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me if you did, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I love you, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye, guys.